When Hasbro first announced the Nerf LMTD Yellowhorn, I was speechless. I thought this would be the greatest thing because I absolutely love Nerf rocket launchers. There was a lot of speculation as to what this thing will shoot and a lot of people had high hopes. Now, when we first saw these images, we thought, why so much orange? You had a missed opportunity to use some really amazing gold color scheme throughout this thing. I mean, come on, the thing is a sci-fi mythical rocket launcher. It doesn't exist in real life. You don't have to put so much orange on it. But I digress. I just wanted to get this thing in my hands and see how good the performance is. Unfortunately for a lot of people out there, it was bad. It was really bad. Now, a lot of you Destiny nerds out there didn't really care because you just wanted that yellow horn hanging up on your wall just as a reminder of how awesome that thing is. And to all those people, I totally get it and I agree. However, I'm Dr. Flux. That's a rocket launcher. It needs to be amazing. So today we fix it. And of course, the first fix is the cosmetic fix. I had to get rid of all that orange. There's just way too much orange on this thing. I left a little bit here and here and here just to give the little hint that yes, this is a Nerf toy. This is from Hasbro, that's fine. But man, doesn't it look so much better with a bunch of gold all over it? This is how it was meant to look. I believe Nerf LMTD should have released this thing looking like this. What do you think? Do you agree? On to the next part, performance. I wanted this thing to shoot actual large projectiles, shotgun blasts, because in Destiny, this thing shoots all kinds of different projectiles and has a lot of functionality. I wanted some of that to carry over on this mod. So we turn to 40 Max. Now 40 Max is a green gas grenade canister used primarily in airsoft but we've adopted it over to the Nerf community and it's been working really well. I also want to give a special thanks to Ada Darts for sending in this. This is a 40 wad. It is a much more powerful 40 Max. We're gonna be doing some testing with it today. So let's head on over to the range and see how awesome this thing is now. So let's take a moment to talk about the breach system. My buddy Luchathor was over here and we're kind of tinkering around with this thing. Essentially we had room in there because the other shells were a little bit bigger than 40 Max. So we thought we could do a sleeve and then we reworked the internals to basically just push the back of the 40 Max when you pull the trigger. That's all we really did. We're gonna start our first test with a 40 watt. This is a little bit longer. I've never tried to put it in here. And unfortunately because of the length of this breach system, I don't have a lot of room. So I'm not even sure if this will work. We got five waffle head darts in here. Yeah, it's it's too long. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut a little bit of this off. This is very short. Do not try this at home. I'm a professional. Hopefully that's enough. After cutting those down, we essentially have created a five shot shotgun blast. And these are short darts. Go ahead and check it out. Jeez. Next up is a cut down Mega XL dart, and I also had to cut this shell down because the Mega XL shell is very long. Let's see if we can get some footage of this thing leaving the barrel. That'd be cool. Fire in the hole. Jeez, that's so straight. I think cut down Mega XL is actually really good. Let me show you. Wow, that is very accurate. Got a 10 short dart shotgun blast. <laughs> oh yeah. In conclusion, I'm really happy with how this thing turned out. Let me know in the comments section if you agree. Is this something you would like to try? If you would also like to pick up some 40 Max or 40 Watt, please use the Dr. Flux affiliate link in the description. As always, I'm Dr. Flux. Be safe and happy foam flinging. Yeah, I'm not gonna shoot a Yalhorn at my camera, sorry.